Hello everybody and to have the Hammer Game Channel, welcome back to Kaiser Redux. It has been a while since we've played this wonderful, wonderful mod and I'm so happy to be back playing it. And um, yeah, it's been a while since I uploaded and the first video of 2022. So happy new year to everybody. Hopefully it started off um, pretty good and better than mine because on the 31st I got sent home from work having done two positive lateral flow tests. So guess who's got COVID? This guy! Yay! I'm actually not feeling too bad for all those wondering. Uh, a bit of a cough and just not feeling the greatest, but hey ho, I'm feeling good enough to make a video. Now, I don't actually know who the hell we're going to play today. I will be coming to play as the Commune of France sometime soon. Um, Bohemia has a tree? Um, I guess we'll play as Bohemia. First thing I want to have a look at. Obviously, we're an autonomous puppet of Hung uh, not Hungary, Austria right now. Nine, nine. Oh, oh. Interesting noises we making doing, but oh, what a tree! Is this a relatively new event? I don't remember seeing the Riga 1936 Winter Games. Yeah, I was I was just waiting for that. Good old Black Monday has struck Bohemia. TJ Masarak, our beloved governor, is starting to feel the ravaging of time. He's getting old, and as the title of this little event says, he has one foot in the grave. So let's get very close to him uh, kicking the bucket. So we will await that fateful day. Who the hell's this geezer? Jorg Lands von Liebensfell. Born in the name of Adolf Josef Lands. Most unique head of states in all of Europe. Well, he can bugger off. I don't know what he's all about. Oh, is he a different? He's an. Wait. So the dolphin route's gone and it's now him. And there we have it. The deaf TJ Masarak. Oh, wow, that hurts us. That hurts us very badly, my days. Well, he shall be missed. He really shall be missed. That is just terrible. A CND strikes a surprising victory. Ah, oh, what a glorious beard. I'm glad I chose you. Right, so we just need to kind of work down here now and then get down to Declaration of Winchester Square and go for Unshackle the Golden City. Uh, excuse me, Austria? What do you think you're doing? They've sent the their intelligence agency. I'm not going to try and pronounce that. Um towards uh, meddling in our election. You little buggers. Oh, cool. Gold Jack's just been offed. Wait, what the hell? Okay. Transbacal Military District. Is a military district of East Siberian Federate. Okay, drop. That's that's cool. Uh, I was also going to point out that uh, Bill Haywood's now the President of the United States and he's really not looking too great in that portrait. He is looking hella old. Okay, the Polish Intermarium. I mean the Syndicalist Intermarium. Because uh, Khrushchev's here as well. Well, at least they didn't join the Third Nationale. What happened to Sternberg? What? I, I, did he get shot in the head or something? Well, that's a first. The Socialist Republic of Haiti. Against the Dominican Republic. I guess that's a little different. Well, bravo to... Uh, to Khrushchev, he declared war on Crimea, which is guaranteed by Germany. Bravo. Oh, he's removed his bandage now and he's put on his hat because he's now Genghis Khan II. Really? Really, Switzerland? You went syndicalist? Why? Wow, Goring, you have seen better days. What has happened to you? Looks like you've been addicted to opium for like the last five years or something. Or maybe another drug. Well, that is a very interesting development because, of course, that means now India's got a little bit of a problem on their hands. So does the Entente. Right, no need to look so seductive there, Edward. Jesus. Well, the Germans have lost their uh, their colony in Africa. Uh, I'm sure South Africa's going to start gobbling up some land or maybe even goring here. Okay, that's a, that's a good, interesting start there. 
If only Hungary would backstab him as well. Could have done with this being a little bit later popping off than it has, but uh, hey, oh, oh, Slovenia, <laughs> Slovenia is back for uh, round two. I, I knew South Africa was gonna. Um, what? Um, sorry, what? What? The Antigua impact? Why Israel? Let's go ahead and prevent future corruption, which is very nice. Political power gain, weekly stability, and daily command power multiplier. Oh my days. How is that faction getting bigger and bigger? The people sard them with Transamur. Curl's actually here as well. How is there so many wars ongoing? Like, what on earth is happening? This is the one we're interested in. 57,000 casualties. Almost 100k in total from the faction. Happy days. Yeah, we, we kind of need these guys to kind of... I need Austria and Hungary to butcher a lot of their men. And just like that, Black Monday... is not gone. Ah, rural separation goes. Black Monday does not. Well, like I said, the coronation gets modified. Happy days. Where, when does the Black Monday one go then? I was going to say, who the hell's taking Vladivostok? But it's, uh, it's, it's seductive Edward over here. Oh, wow. Wow, the casualties are flying up now. The revolution has begun. Oh, ho, 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 ho. We're already pushing forwards. Oh. I'll just hold the Hungarians. I'm going to just try and slap the crap out of uh, the, uh, the Austrians. Okay, we shall pass the Wenzel Kron to true Bohemian. Whatever that means. I'm guessing that's the crown. Um, we, we've, um, we've won. Ah, oh, I didn't notice, but donning the Wenzel Kron is now open. So we can do that. When do we, when do we crown someone? So we have two houses. We have the house of Sh... Oh my days, I'm so sorry. Adolf Scharf Wazernberg. And we have the House of Lubequitz. Maximilian Erwin. Oh, it's got to be Max. Maximilian. Oh, what? The Austrian industries build us. I'll lose four factories, two of each. Oh, ah, uh, yes, the crowning has been. Oh, social liberals. Ah, oh, ah, oh, Max. Max, 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 Max. Legend of the crown of St. Wenceslaus. And it gives us 20,000 manpower, 30 army experience, 5% war support, and 5k guns. Happy days. We've actually got a decent wee stockpile of guns now. Okay, Galicia. That's an interest. Oh, everyone's just turned on turned on Austria. Oh, 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 oh dear. Wait, what? Eh, uh, what utter bull is that? Oh, that is absolute bollocks. How, how have you got that? Gains co- You can feck off! Since I've been screwed out of getting my land, well, the Austrians just randomly taking a piece of my land when they really should not have been able to, eh, uh, I just declare war on them. They're at war with everybody else now anyway, so I might as well. Just trying to help out the French and the Swiss here. Because they'll be able to crush this pocket, which is going to be nice, because Bozen's obviously needed anyways. So, having them cut off is ideal. Ah, there we go, the Austrians are no more. Who actually has claims? Well, that's a very cursed-looking Bulgaria. The Dean and Sophia is all they control. The Ottomans just decide to take the rest. I've just noticed something. Carl is now our puppet. Oh, and we've changed to the Lubkowitz Empire. I think we just got a whole lot of claims on stuff. Yeah, we did. Sorry, Hungary. It is time for us to best you in combat. Uh, wait, what? I, why is there two declare wars on them? Ah, yes, an encirclement. Oh, the encirclements are flying in left, light, and center. It's going to be hard to cross the uh, the Danube, though. 
Yes, fall, Budapest, fall. Fall to the mighty Bohemian army. I think we've actually had a very successful war. We are short of guns, but I am not really concerned. Well, I can't complain. We've slaughtered 342,000 Hungarians. And only lost 63,000 ourselves. They, they have literally nothing left in the tank. Their army was actually so much bigger than ours. But it's just rubbish. There we go. Well, um, I think we need to jump into this bandwagon before it is uh, too little too late. Because, uh, wow, they are getting absolutely destroyed by the French Commune. Which probably means I'm going to get absolutely destroyed when they come for Austria. But hey-ho... We might as well live a little and just declare war on Germany. Well, it looks like the French are going to take uh, Berlin any moment now. I'll just push for Danzig. Hey, 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 I actually have major status in the world. That is a win. That is a border I'm happy with. And that now means I surround the crap out of Poland. I made my choice. The Entente is the only kind of good ally I potentially have. So I've joined them. I was going to say, I thought Serbia just flipped sides there, but um, Russia joined the Entente. Oh boy, did I make the right decision. Paris against Moscow. Oh ho 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 ho. It has basically kicked off the third Velkrieg, hasn't it? Well, because Serbia is literally dead, I guess someone has to save the day. Put my new under-equipped divisions to the test, but hopefully people will start sending me guns. We are still 38,000 short. It's gonna look it's gonna look terrible actually. I wanna see if I can actually maybe sort this myself by annexing all of the land. Because obviously I already have control of some of Yugoslavian territories, so hopefully if I take it all I can give it to them. Uh, my, my plan almost worked giving Serbia. Well taking all the land and then giving it to Serbia. I still control uh, Istria. Uh, Postoj, I don't know how you pronounce that, and Trest. At least uh, Serbia's looking pretty fine indeed. If they integrate Bosnia. Oh, they needed Vojvodina. Oh, I'm so sorry. I, I would love to be able to give you Vojvodina. Apologies, Poland, but having a syndicalist menace to my, well, totalist menace to my side is no longer acceptable for us. Warsaw's fallen, we might even be able to get them encircled. Oh my days, that's like their whole army. And they're dead. Oh, now we are looking hella thick and hella fine. Don't know why I got the fate of Austrian literal now, but I've managed to give that to Serbia. Might end up regretting this decision, but there's only one thing left for us to do. And I think we only border them pre Oh, why do you own Sweden and Norway? Oh my days, it's my first railway gun. It's it's legit my first railway gun.
Sadly, we've got to the hard bit, getting through these bloody forts. Kingdom of Spain joining in is fantastic. It's just not going to be any use to me or to them joining in and straight into the war. I need the Russians to take the lead here. I need them to, to just take over. Like, I will, I will man this front and I am ready to push when need be. But I need them to do some heavy lifting right now. Because they can get around the forts. Might be able to push through here, potentially. That's going to be a big ass with levels. Oh, ho, ho, hi. Hi, hi, hi. Go on with the light tanks. Light tanks? Really? Oh, God, the squeak. That was bad. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah, the, uh, the front line for them is uh, very quickly getting absolutely destroyed. Nice, we've taken out the Swiss. I'm just having a look at the casualties. We've lost 500k, but we have butchered 1 million of the French. Oh, there we go, they're dead. Right, slaughter them. Look how chunky we are. If only I'd annexed Austria. Do you know what? I might actually annex them just by console command very soon. Maybe once this war's over. Just gonna go and help absolutely obliterate the rest of the uh, internationals troop over here. Okay, we've done it with 10 divisions. Where's the rest of them? 14. Yoink. Oh my days, Canada's naval invaded bloody Cardiff. You absolute gems. Oh, this could be the end. This could be the start of the end here. Liverpool and Hull have been secured, so supply's not going to be an issue. I could probably just run to London. London's getting secured by a single division. Well, there goes London. And there goes the Union of Britain. And there goes game, set, and match, really. So, guys, I think I'm uh, pretty happy with that. I have been playing for almost four hours. Um, I am at war with the CSA and um, Japan now. And I, I, I just, I just can't be bothered. Uh, I've, I've secured my position in Europe. That's for sure. Uh, we are a thick old boy under Max, and uh, yeah, we saved Wilhelm and took a piece of his pie in the process. Um, oh, that happened. Cool. Right. So, yeah, the world's an interesting place. That's that's for sure. I love how, like, the whole of China is the kind of only bit really over here that's not actually in a faction. Even though it's kind of mostly ruled by uh, Zhang Zuling. Anyways, thank you very much for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed. I certainly did. That was much more fun than I thought a uh, Monarchist Bohemian run would be. Um, I don't know when this will be out, actually, but it'll be out whenever it is that you're watching it, obviously. And I'll be back with something else very, very soon. So until next time, guys, do take care. Cheer by the now.